Hello, this is my presentation. My project is to talk about to sparse channel estimation in OFDM system. I'm young. This is my outline. I have a topic in my project. First one is introduction. We want to talk about what is the topic application and what is the way to estimate. The application I can use to high definition television. The second one transformation on the highly terrain. The third one near of the surf zone and the wear communication. <coughs> then what is the way to estimate? Due to the sparse the impulse response of the channel estimation, we get the parameters by using the least square method that the effect is very poor. This is the orthogonal frequency divergent multiplexing bandwidth model. Now we can talk about channel model. In general channel we consider the varying delay and gain multiplies channel with time. We define the channel impulse response as follows. In this function, L is number of multipass channel, tau is delay time t in the pulse, and F is ex complex gain of the pass in the short period of time t. Tau can be approximately as a polynomial. This example is a pass of channel with a fixed transmitter and receiver. In this case, the receiver is traveling between the vertical velocity and the horizontal velocity. The horizontal distance between the transmitter and the receiver is sigma, and the vertical distance is phi. The path delay tau can be expressed as follow: this function. Next is and water. Oxity. Underwater oxytic channel is near surf zone to provide a challenge of space channel estimation technology in the application. This channel is particularly challenging because each pass gain repaired fluctuation and delay. In one example is given as a simple path channel. We define the tangent point in the signal reflected by the water surface to the receiver path. With a link of set pipes, each of the other paths has its own unique point because the surface water moves. Then tangent point move as well. Therefore, we expect it delay of each pass change over time even if the transmitter and the receiver are fixed. OFDM is multi-carrier modulation technology. High-speed theory data stream will modulate n separate slow frequency domain or subcarrier subcarriers parallel transmission. Can be seen from the figure, there are about four steps in OFDM system sparse channel estimation. First, consider the sparse channel model should be fixed. Generally, there are sparse channel model, sparse frequency selective channel, sparse dual channel selection, sampling interval, and non interval channel sampling. After analysis, should be given a fixed channel model. In fact, the two most important remaining step is measurement matrix design and dispersed channel recovery. Once the analysis of the dispersed channel model has been completed, the major matrix must establish a. Pro per sheet. 
channels pattern matching and communication needs. Finally, different sparse channel estimation method to recover sparse channel communication environment in different channels. These four steps, the management matrix and sparse channel restoration design focus of study. This is about channel. Channel estimation method is important for achieving effective sparse channel recovery. In general, channel estimation can be divided into two categories, frequency domain channel estimation and time domain channel estimation. The traditional frequency domain and time domain channel estimation LS estimation method is popular. The estimation method of the performance of different Pi classic frequency domain channel analog evaluation. The time domain less square estimation is not so closely related to Pi, but it depends on the channel maximum delay. The least square method is calculated by the following formula. This section discusses sparse channel estimation using LS estimator. The following figure shows the BR performance of sparse channel estimation. We can see from the figure that the mean square error is relatively high for LS estimator not very close to the actual sparse channel. Besides, we can see that as SNR increased, BR performance decreased. But for low SNR, there is a relative bad BR performance due to high noise effect. And this one, BR performance chart shows the change of channel estimation method of classical different pilot frequency intervals are very similar, which means that if the low pi m will increase, performance will be improved. Now, I can explain this function. S is rich signal vector. For sparse factor S, indeed still equal to CRB, A support is assumed lama. We may have oracle estimates, oracle CRB relationship between the estimator and the known support in the case of sparse vector X is given by this. In this paper, we study the characteristics of wireless channel and OFDM system. In addition, we discussed the classical channel estimation method is a mathematical model of LS. At the end of the paper, simulation were carried out to evaluate the computational complexity and esti estimation performance for sparse multiplies channel condition. This is my whole presentation. Thanks.